Ahoy bitches and bros and non-binary hills, welcome to The Quarry, brand new game that just came out recently. Uh, this is made by the same creators as Until Dawn, so you're gonna see a lot of the same features from that game as like, your choices uh, depend on who dies, who survives, what happens, stuff like that. So I'm really excited, I always love playing these games, they're always such a fun time. So yeah, I'm excited. This is another horror game, so I had to dim the lights off with this like campfire light, which is like my studio light on me. So let's do it. I'm excited because some of the cast in here is pretty good. Like they have David Arquette from the Scream series. They have Dewey himself. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get to it. This mode replaces licensed music from the game with royalty free alternatives for streaming. Oh, okay, so there will be music in those places, okay. Uh, let's just do streamer mode, it's fine. Because at least there is movie mode. Oh, okay. There's a co-op in this game? That's pretty cool. The problem I have with like streamer modes is because when there's music supposed to happen, they don't put any music there, so it's just pure silence, and it it's really distracting. That is my problem with it. Okay, on. It's fine. But yeah, my problem with stream mode, streamer mode is that they just, they literally do that. They don't put any music, so it says it puts, like, royalty-free music in here, which I'm fine with, that's fine with. But, like, if it's just nothing there, I'd rather just take the copyright claims, like, whatever. But yeah. Three, two, one. Let's get into it. I'm really excited for this. I've heard, like, nothing but good things about this game, which makes me happy, because I loved Until Dawn. I haven't played any of their other games they made recently, like Man of Medan, Little Hope, House of Ash, I think the last one was called. I haven't touched those. I want to eventually, but I just haven't got the chance. I have Man of Medan and Little Hope because of PlayStation Plus. So maybe I might get around to those someday. But the story of this game is basically like based off of David Arquette basically like 1980s horror movies like Until Dawn. This one I believe takes inspiration from like The Thing and Friday the 13th which I love those movies by the way those are great horror movies. I woke up to an urban Wrapped up in my lover's arms I feel it in my weary bones I'm home Ted Raimi, brother of the goat, Sam Raimi, director of Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, and the original Evil Dead movies, and the original Spider-Man trilogy, which is goaded. One of my favorite movies ever. As you guys know, I'm a big Toby nerd. this game has some waifus because I don't really know any of the actresses besides Brenda Song but that's just from like Disney from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody <laughs> if any of you remember that because Until Dawn had some waifus fucking Ashley 
Sam. Oh, I forget her name, but the blonde one. They had some pretty nice girls on there. I guess I'm someone named Laura. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Oh, the graphics mm -hmm. are phenomenal. Lost, Max, we're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Like, it really looks like real people there. What the fuck is this? Happy Tree Friends? Consider the following, as it will guide you through mm. the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Oh, heads up. Oh, shit. Yeah, honey, nice kid. Damn, I pushed like three buns there because I thought okay. it was circle. <laughs> and I panicked. I was like, what? Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right. That's where we're going. I just know that <laughs> the circle and the stick one's going to go, huh? fuck me over at some point. Yeah. You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your Well, not spot. anymore. <laughs> okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, ah. Voila. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how will happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. I thought this was said during the 1980s. Why do they have a... Or is it just inspired by 1980s? Did I just read it wrong? I guess, I guess I read it wrong. I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! Oh. Alright, we already got in a car wreck. I didn't even do anything. Stop the car! Yes, I saw it, by the way. Oh my god, see? It's already screwing me up. I was gonna say it too, I thought this was Sydney Sweeney at first. The girl, the blonde girl from Euphoria, I thought it was her at first. And I got kinda excited because she's got some big melons. Still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max. But I'm pretty sure that's not her. I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? You didn't hit anything. No. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. No, really? Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, 
I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Mm -hmm. Are gonna be? Are there gonna be like collectibles, like the death totems from Until Dawn, where you see like a possible future event? I think that'd be cool. What did he ask for? Something in the trunk. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Okay. The loading screens are exactly the same. I mean, yeah. And tarot. Oh, so there's uh tarot cards. Laura. Evident. Okay, so it's kind of like the same thing. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even read that. Ouch. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't get caught at least. Thanks, son. Yeah. Do you need a hand? So yeah, that's what I meant. Maybe sometimes it's not best to just snoop around. <laughs> it's best not to hit the button thing sometimes. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere's better than here. God, this game looks great on here. Imagine if it was, I was playing this on a PS5. Holy fucking shit. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Why would I even go? I, I saw like some witch lady out there. Why would I even bother going Max, out there? Hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah. That is. They could be hurt. I don't know. I have no I reason to kill any of you no, right I now. I just I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay? Like with all these games. All right. If there's someone I do not like in here, that they're such an unbelievable dick, I'm going to do everything in my power to kill them in the most brutal way. You guys saw my if you saw my Walking Dead let's play, you know I'm deadly serious. <laughs> Luck with the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, where the fuck am I going? I didn't approve of this. <sighs> you fucking dumb bitch. Why are you taking my freedom of choice away? Didn't you already have your freedoms taken away? <laughs> I'm sorry, I could not resist. What's that? Oh, it's a tree. It's a tree. There's something there. Kind of circus act. Is 
There's a poster for a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while. Left forgotten in the woods. Those burn marks around the edges. Alright. I honestly do not know why she's coming down here. She really wants to see whoever this is. <laughs> Oh great, there's a path. Well, not really. Luck be a lady tonight. There better be something in here. Oh. A trunk filled with strange devices. That of an escapeologist, perhaps. A relic of a traveling show that must have passed through the area. Can I take the handcuffs? Maybe I can do sexy time with her later or something? If, if she's into that, of course. <laughs> There's a lot I could look at. It's over here. What is these? What the hell? Broken cage. It's the crappy cage has been engulfed by the woods over time. Looks like an animal has been nested here. Dog boy? Yikes. I thought this was like a bridge or something. I didn't know this was a cage. It looks huge. They're just keeping your fucking titan. What? Anyway, well this is kind of poetic. My first Let's Play on this channel was actually Until Dawn. It really was. In like the crappiest quality. I, I do not recommend you go watch it because it's really, really bad. <laughs> so it's kind of poetic. We're playing this now. Uh, the creator's newest game. I played that game when I was at like 20 subs, and now we're nearing 500. Or maybe we're at 500 by this time, you never know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Thank you so much for that, by the way, if I ever do hit 500 subs. Thank you. That's such an odd transition. I saw it. Where are you? Silence. <laughs> Is that the dog man or the man dog, whatever his name was? Uh oh. <laughs> I think that was directed at me. I keep thinking it's circle. Doesn't it look exactly like circle? Or am I just have terrible hey, vision right now? Hey, hey, whoa. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Talk to me, you alright? Jesus Christ, you're all banged up. No, no. There is something out there. Like, uh, there's noises everywhere. Just take a few breaths. Just breathe. Just breathe. 
It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. No. It's easy to freak yourself out. Listen, Matt. Especially Matt's... if you're hurt. Can we just get out of here, please? Of course, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yes, there we go. Purring like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you kidding me? Max! I just... Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Laura, Max! Laura, you're not helping right now. Can you just... I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh. oh, fuck! Oh my oh, god! Oh, it's Ted Raimi! Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, was well, she bumped her head? Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. You folks want to tell me what happened here? God, he looks and sounds exactly like Sam Raimi. It's crazy. What? Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths, and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be oh my God. throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's Quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. So am I going to lie to him or tell him the truth? I'm not going to tell him I nearly hit something or someone. He swerved off. I'm not telling him that. Uh, well, we were just driving, and it's really, really dark out here. And um, I don't know. We, we must have hit like a, a pothole or something, because we swerved, and now here we are. I mean, I'm, these roads are really not in great shape. Yeah. Sir. Keep the car running. Sir. Is this guy like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Is it? What, what would he say if I almost hit somebody? folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night we're heading, we're heading up to Hackett's Quarry summer camp we're new counselors you're one night early no no we know um but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out you know I mean they know we're coming we called ahead and to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not going to make it to Haggett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh... I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand?
I will stand up to this cop. Sir. Why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. You don't tell me what to do. Okay, Fuck you. I just don't understand what the problem Your brother may have made Spider-Man. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do Your brother anything. may have made Tobey Maguire Superstar, but you don't have any control over me. If you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. You can show us right here in the car. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Oh my god, what is wrong with this cop? He's just a bully. Okay. So, we... Are right about here. Ew, what is with his face? Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Right. Still, please. What are you doing? Hold still. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't do anything. Just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. There. Fresh as a daisy. You can return to the vehicle, ma'am. Oh my god, this guy's a fucking whack job. I hope he dies. He's he's first on my hit list. He's gonna die. Look at look, look at this shot. Your motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Oh, you need like Have a statement. Have a good night. Maybe he's not a cop, he's just a killer with a cop outfit. That's actually how a lot of like child kidnappings ha happen, by the way. Kidnappers get disguised as cops and have their cars and shit. Always trust a cop, but now that hasn't changed. Just giving me major weirdo vibes. The dude vibes. needed like at least a dozen shots. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <sighs> Alright, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know, I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh Why don't we just God. go to them? If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, you should go to the what? motel I... and then go to the camp. Is debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> hey, so am I, too. Wow, we actually went there. 
You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Hex, here. can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're just leaving me here after what we've been through? Wow. Such a man you are. Is anybody home? Well, cross the door off the list. <laughs> what that? Oh, it's just a beer bottle. I thought it was lighting or something. But it's just like, what do you call it? Like the ray tracing lighting or whatever the fuck? Look, I play games. I don't know all the clinical terms to make it in or any. I don't know all the fancy terms. No. No, 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 no. My skin actually looks real good with this item. Surprisingly, I have a little bit of breakouts, but it looks good. I was kind of afraid of doing this because I have a little bit of breakouts and I thought they'd be noticeable, but I guess not. What the fuck is this camera angle? Yes, there's nothing up here. When do I get to meet David Arquette's character? <laughs> He's probably gonna be the best one, I bet you. Doesn't kill you will make you stronger. <sighs> By the way, someone asked me when Walking Dead Two season two, the um, two season two, whatever you want to call it, is coming out. I will play it eventually, probably sooner than later. I don't know. There's no one here. Come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? I am going to play the 400 days DLC because I heard it does impact season 2, so I would like to do that. So I will do that and then season 2 like immediately, I'll do them both together. Is that a dog? Hey! Hey, are you okay? What? That ain't no human? What is that? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. <sighs> Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I don't know, just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. Hey. Wait, wh what are these? I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Uh... I'm not seeing anyone. Wait, no, look. I'm looking, I am. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so...
Oh, geez, I wonder what tool I should pick here. <laughs> Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. So, someone's trapped. Because a wrench can open that thing. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> Seriously, tell me, how the fuck is a wrench gonna open it? You've seen the evil dad, right? Aha, uh -huh, get it? Cause Sam Raimi, Ted Raimi, haha. Uh -huh. Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. And you're just gonna sit there? Oh my god, this guy you have is so lazy. I'm just... You know, I'm scoping it out. You're number two on my hit list now for sitting down. What the blazes? Big for a dog. Oh, is this the? Where's the other clue at? Is it this thing? The dog man or whatever the fuck. Oh. Max. What is that? Na, 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 na. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... Max? Fuck. Max! Max! Guess what? That's a pretty normal reaction for what just happened. I think I'm bleeding a lot. <laughs> Leave me? Is it wrong if I'm considering leaving him? Ah, fine, I'll help him. <laughs> Oh god. <gasps> it's the cop. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? 
What the hell was he shooting at? Was he shooting at him? I'm so, what? What was he Well, that was quite the intro. That was a 40 minute intro. Why are intros so goddamn long nowadays? It takes like an hour. Friend. Welcome to the show. Oh, this is like the therapist from Until we Dawn. Friends, aren't we? No. I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting. Yes and terrifying but if you're brave enough if you let me help you i can help you we can help each other you didn't find anything and so i've nothing to show you you need to look harder the cards are out there if you don't help me how can i help you we're supposed to be friends you said so yourself Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Okay, then. Glad they kept that concept for this game. I love this wholesome music. Not like I just witnessed a murder or something. Hi. Ladies, peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack it's quarry forever. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Mmm, never know. Mm. I don't know. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of, uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the, uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me? Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell, you know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. Okay, this is, um, 
You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Now I'm this Chad. Jake, bags, focus. I'm trying to grab the bags. Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. I'm just gonna annoy the shit out of her. <sighs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. <laughs> Who the fuck is it down here? A little loser. Can I, um... Just curious. I was seeing if I could turn off the black bars. <clears throat> hey, what do you uh what are you listening to? Good to know. Okay, well that was awkward. I won't talk to him ever again. I already read this sign. Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. Oh, you're gonna. You're third on my hit list now. <laughs> you're gonna die. And I'm gonna kill you. Dipshit's bolted it. Really? I'm sure that'll be a pain in the ass for the characters. The main door doesn't even work. Oh, skill. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Haha, <laughs> self awareness. Anything else in here? I guess not. those two douchebags but oh it's a card temperance to be balanced to consume in moderation or to indulge in excess temperance take it or leave it but remember sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification no idea what that means what do I look like a, a philosophical nerd
Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Someone's gonna get stuck in there. <laughs> it's like this game is trying to be predictable. <laughs> Kind of cute. I like it. Oh, there are the bags. So I'm not gonna grab them yet. Place needs a serious overhaul. Oh, Jesus. All right, then. You. I got a bone to pick with you. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea and. Two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Yeah, I don't like you. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Ah, oh, he's taking a dump. Knock again. <laughs> Knock again. I cannot see goddamn anything in here. This guy must really like what he sees up there, because he's just looking all the way up top. Oh, look at that bear. Anyway, what was I supposed to do? Grab some bags or some shit? I don't quite remember where they are. Oh, I think that's where they are, right there. It's over here, though. A uh, good bunch of nothing. <sighs> All right, got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? I don't know anything about you, so I have no reason oh, to be mean to you. Okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Mm, <laughs> sexy, huh? Hottest at camp by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing. 
is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the, um, the fumes of... of Jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? Look, I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. Not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey! What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up! <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> Are you serious? Like, can I, I have to actually do this? Why? <laughs> You're making me be the selfish, dumbass character to start this whole story. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why do I gotta do this? I don't wanna... Ugh. I'll just steal this thing since I don't break it. This one choice is gonna start off this whole story, huh? I have to do it. you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. You are a fucking asshole. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, don't. Long. Oh, Nick! Boom. Oh. oh. I should have dropped it on purpose. Ooh, good he deserved to have his phone broken after that. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh, freaks. <clears throat> Surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I mean, I get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. I should have had him drop the phone to make him even out. <laughs> 
what he's done. <laughs> I'll have something else happen to him, though. He deserves it for that bullshit. Abigail. Wowzer. It's an e-girl. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Yeah, let's break in. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Damn, that door was weak as hell. About the power. I could probably break of that door in my dick. Why do I ever listen to you? Because Just... I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. Oh, they will All kill right, someone. Well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. All right, I get to play as the E girl. There's something over here. Aw, this was little Izzy's. I wanna play a game. <laughs> I don't want that shit. Yeah, you can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. I don't want it. Why would this place be in the news? Big show goes up in flames. Scrap from a local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette. Doesn't look recent. Something about a fire. Was it here at the quarry? Alright. What is? Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. I'm not, because I don't like camping and I haven't experienced what you guys experienced. I like her red hair, it's nice. Do, 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 do. Can I go in here? Hey! You stop <gasps> that! It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. I know it's real slow right now, but <laughs> knowing until dawn, this shit's probably gonna tense up, so <laughs> just put up with it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, isn't this what like 90% of horror movies are like? It's slow in the beginning to make you real calm and then it hits you hard like a fucking truck. 
I don't mind that as long as it's real good. Can I go on any of the other ones? Catch somebody fucking or something? I guess I cannot. What is? Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. What the fuck? Why would I try to prove my innocence to a cop after what I've just seen in this game? Why would I even bother? Ouch. So Jacob hasn't seen this. The unpleasant odor. It's like weed or something, right? Dylan's? But yeah, why would I try to prove my innocence at all? I don't trust cops. Especially in this game after one I've seen. Signpost. Okay, because I was wondering why Tokyo and fucking Boston is there. Where is this at? In like California or something? I feel like this is California. I don't know why. Or maybe it's like Friday the 13th in like New Jersey or New York or some, somewhere like that. Oh, there she is. What is that? A golf cart? Can I drive it? I promise I'm a really good driver. Ready to roll? Yeah. Let's do it. Finally. Yes, I'm driving. I Time promise I'm a really good driver. The moose, this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, nice steering, Tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp?
this feels like a choice where it's a really stupid choice that the characters make. So... No. <laughs> no. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. Everyone's waiting I for don't us. care what you're saying. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! Oh. I'm not gonna hurt the poor squirrel. I almost did, because I, I looked Sorry, away for like two seconds. Man. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time, like, ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. I deserve that. When do I get to have them kill each other? Dylan. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, you. <sighs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, hey here, let me, um... Let me get it for you. I can take care of Sam. my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Mega simp. No chat energy. Ugh. I was about to say, is she really about to throw her bag in there? Fucking slob. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. I'm the ultimate wingman, gentlemen. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's it about? Mind your own business? Yeah, I'm not what's saying it about? that. Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you okay if anyone here had a podcast about them it'd be me yeah if there was a podcast called how to look and smell like a butt oh my god you are so childish really so don't look and smell like a butt <laughs> no it's a, it's a paranormal podcast Th this episode was actually about this place weirdly enough the hag of hackett why would you even bother I listening what's it where now to that what's the hag of hackett's quarry you don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't it's like if I listen to a podcast about a murder that happened at my house. Stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods, looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Mm, 
I'll support him. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, 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 hey it's, it's Dewey. It. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. If it was someone else, I'd be annoyed, but it's David Arquette. I can't be annoyed with him. <laughs> cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. And look at that. I got some earbuds from this guy because I was nice to him. Look at that. The butterfly effect. Can I play as David Arquette? I want to play as Dewey. So, uh... Chris, I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, that's, no, no, that's, um, it's just you know about the whole thing w with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Oh, I'm eavesdropping. Just keep the kids. Don't need to so much of those. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Dewey, what are you up to? Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I. I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. You are such a horrible liar. I'm never pushed you out like that. I'm never lying with you again. You're a horrible liar. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do? Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. 
So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Dewey, come on. Just give me a minute. Good goddamn army. Look everywhere else besides the same spot you've been looking at, you dipshit. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Oh my god, you guys are Let's you're an idiot. Off. What are those shorts, man? Oh my goodness. Those are a disgrace to my eyes. David Arcade, I cannot believe you're wearing that. <laughs> that is a disgrace to my eyes. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Oh, that freeze though. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing no, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. Oh, my the God, I hate dude, you already. Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on. All right, come dude, on. chill. Chill, dude. I'm God. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Ah, you're kind of, Damn it. kind of a dick. I mean, I, I had Jacob totally mess okay. with it, but... Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! Oh my god, no! Jacob, you're just an asshole. Stop. Let me think. What is okay. your problem? Damn Trying it. to make it worse? You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Beep, dude. I did that on purpose. I just wanted to see what he'd say. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec.
Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Nah, I question you now. Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? No. Oh, yeah. You want to give me an option? For God's sake, keep the noise down! Uh, this is where the fun begins. So... What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um... Are you kidding All me? All obvious, what dude. What are we supposed to do? I thought... Well, we should go inside, like he said. Okay. If you're gonna pull that shit, I thought you would have a plan to, like, get back with her at least. But you don't even have... It. You're just like, hey, man. Fuck off. I'm gonna kill you first now. Until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying oh. to freak us out. You know, Come on. Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Oh, my God. All right, just for that, I'm going to Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's I hate this, this guy um, okay. so much. He's first such a dickhead. First. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. Are you? And uh, <sighs> Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna give you the first chance I get. I'm gonna kill him. I'm not even kidding. I hope this guy shoots him. What the fuck? Ew.
All right then. All right. Well, can I save it here? Because what the fuck? And my game's completely frozen. Oh wow, that's cool. I like how all the paths are. I like a VHS video, that's pretty cool. Anyway, that'll be it for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Part 2 will come out very soon. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.